So we got a new show that was... The first episode was dropped mm -hmm. early. Uh, it doesn't drop until the 14th. Um, but technically. Mm -hmm. um, but they dropped it early. So it says it airs this Sunday... But it already has aired on Showtime and on YouTube for you to watch for free. Uh, I'm confused on this. It aired early, but it's airing again. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. But the show is called Yellow Jackets. And it is a drama horror. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't really gotten much into the horror here, but I can definitely see where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. um, and we were both... Huge fans of this first episode. Yes. Um, super fucking into it. It's yes. very like Lord of the Flies meets Alive. The show, the you know, the true story about the 1972 soccer team that crashed into the Andes. Um, very, very like a mix of those two things with flashbacks and flash forwards of kind of the survivors after the fact, mm. and we follow a crew of a, a soccer team mm -hmm. who crashes in a snowy area as i said much much like the movie alive or the true story of, of that uh that team that did and um little by little we reveal uh more and more of what's happened in the past and who has survived um and i think we'll find out who did not survive as the show continues mm -hmm. Um, but as of right now, we have four characters that we know have survived yeah. from this event, this 19 months out oh in the wilderness God. together, which for it's context insane. in Alive, those guys were out there for 72 days. That's two and a half months. months. 19 months is like, it's, it's society changing, yes. right? It's, it's like we're forming our own world now. Yes. Right? This, this isn't is like so we're just trying to survive. No. This is we fucking live here. This is life here. now. This yes. is what we do. Yeah. yeah. This is two years in the wilderness. It's so wild. Um, so now, yeah, I, I think that the characters are super strong. Yes. Um, I have nostalgia like a motherfucker oh my gosh. throughout everything <laughs> yeah. because this is set. The characters are supposed to be freshmen in high school in 1995 i was a i was a freshman in high school in 1996 although one of the characters gets a letter saying that she's class of 2000 this is set in 95 so i don't really i'm not really sure how that works out mm -hmm. um but maybe they mean for the two the year 2000 that she'd be going to college right which would be the year about, right yeah. so the year 2000 for the start of her freshman year in college mm -hmm. um now how she would get accepted without just going yeah, I, I don't know. In, really in that year? Because I think they are freshmen, uh, from what I can guess, from what we we, we learned. Because one of them says, you, you were the only freshman who was asked, and she's on the soccer team. Mm -hmm. So, I think they're all supposed to be freshmen. Mm -hmm. We could be, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not but I thought once you get accepted it. to a, a college, you go. Right? Yeah, like, well, and also I didn't think you, you can to, apply to college. Until I don't you know. graduate. Yeah, or until you're a senior, but... Well, well, no, until you're graduated. Because fucking kid, there's like geniuses that graduate high school and they're like 12 hmm. and start college. Yeah, I'm not right. sure. We're, we're not sure. smart. We're not, we're not, we didn't, we're not, yeah, I didn't go to college. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even graduate uh, fucking high school. <laughs> uh, she went to college. But She's being modest. I did not. <laughs> I went to was, beauty college. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Really, but it was it was really yeah. fun with this episode though, just seeing your reactions to all the music that was being played. Um, because there was definitely, you know, I, I don't I don't really know if there was a song that I recognized. Oh my god! So it like was like every flashback instantly. scene, yeah, that had music on it. He was like, oh, this one. And what's it was great really about cool. I will say this: what's great about the music that's in here is that it feels very true. To 95, 96 era, and not just a greatest hits of the 90s. Yeah. They're not playing fucking Nirvana. They're not playing the Cranberries. They're not playing the songs you always hear. They're playing fucking Informer by <laughs> Snow, which I had to play for her, and we were laughing about the whole Licky Boom Boom Man <laughs> thing, which is just the song that you can never get out of your head ever. Um, but, but they played a song... From an artist called uh, who's named Liz Fair, 
who I was trying, yeah, who I was (laughs) trying to name in my head because I had that record uh, growing up. I had I had a few of her records, and I hadn't heard this song since the '90s. And I was like, as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh my god, this is Supernova by, and I couldn't think of it. I was sitting there the whole episode, and I was like, what the fuck is the name? What's the name? And it finally dawned on me, like Liz Fair, and I was like. You know, and I, I blurted that out because I was so excited to remember it. But to have a show that's actually playing Liz Fair, that felt legit. That felt like an alternative girl who's listening to something outside of the mainstream. Because the because her friend gets in the car and she flips on Snow, right? Which was sat atop the billboards as number one on, on the charts for like seven straight weeks uh in that in that year so it makes sense that that would be like the song that's playing and that w- would be what, what her friend was into because her friend is very you know uh trendy mainstream mainstream yeah. which is fine i mean it yeah. is what it is who gives a shit well, you listen to what you listen to but her friend is is more of the outlier she's the outcast yeah. she's you know the now juliette lewis's character is definitely the punk the rebel she's mm. hanging out with a kid that has a marilyn manson portrait of an american family shirt on um and antichrist superstar would be coming out in 96 mm. which was definitely on my christmas wish wish list which i did get for christmas mm. which was kind of funny because my mom was like I don't know if I feel right buying you something called Antichrist Superstar for Christmas. Uh, for Christmas. And I was like, bitch, buy it for me. <laughs> and she did. Uh, so Shauna was, is her name, that yeah, character. But sure. she is like, she's not quite, like she's not the alternative girl, but she's sort of like the girl that's, she's definitely misunderstood. Like well, she's, she's because she and we find out that she's really <laughs> fucked up. She's like really she's fucked got up. some issues for sure, but she definitely is like trying to fit in in certain ways, but also isn't, um, which is interesting. Like because she kind of like you know she ends up wearing the red dress that um, I don't know anybody's name yet. Yeah. Uh, teen Shauna. Sorry, I just realized they put teen before their names. Anyway, right. she she conforms in some ways, but like the music choice and other other things are, you know, sort of her being different and not really knowing how to cope with that, I think. Sure. Mm. Yeah, I, I think uh, we got some great characters here that, yes. you know, I, I like that there's characters that are fucked up before their event, mm-hmm. right? It's not that this event's changed them. It's that these events have kind of molded what's already underlying yeah. which is more true to life yeah. um that some characters might be great people and they turn uh terrible in these events um and then there's people who may like kind of ride that line of being a bad person to a degree um and that they actually kind of end up being a better person because of mm. these events and and that i don't know that you react the way that the situation plays out. And I don't know, the, there was such a great chemistry between the young girls mm-hmm. and they're, of course, the, all the older characters, older, they're all my age, uh, but the they are the older, the adult them, versions yeah. of them. Um, they're played by all excellent actresses, yes. whether it's Christina Ricci or Juliette Lewis or uh, Melanie Lus- Lewins- Lus- Lus- Lusky. How do you say her last name? I'm from not sure Heavenly Creatures it, and she's great, Linsky. Linsky, that's right. She's um, awesome. She's fantastic. Yeah. She's she's been in a lot of fantastic stuff I, that I've watched over the years. A f- fabulous actress. Yes. So I, I expected them to be great, but mm-hmm. it's it's the the cast of the young girls mm-hmm. that I feel I feel like they're like friends in a in a team mm-hmm. and that they have genuine in, issues with one another and they all feel. Um, different from one another, mm-hmm. um, you know, whether it's the it's the girl who's super into God, or or it's mm. the uh, and and it's really cool to see the redhead here from Santa Clarita Diet because I'm a huge fan of that show, and just seeing her in something else made me very happy. Even though she's hilarious in Santa Clarita Diet, and in this show she's very straight, like the, she hasn't had any humorous moments yet. So it's really cool to kind of see her, um, you know. Uh, what what's that saying? The straight man. Chops, uh, flexor chops, or or what is it? Flexor Something? chops. Not flexor chops, but like. Mm-hmm. like it, there's a saying I, for I that. I don't know. I, I don't know if I've heard that saying. 
I've heard like flex your nah, I don't think it's show like... her chops. I think it's show her chops. Something Are like your that. chops your jaw? Isn't I don't know. I'm telling you, this is a saying. I feel like flex. It's a hundred percent a saying. I'm just your chops. Summer. For some reason, <laughs> I don't know if it's I'm it. fucking completely blanking on what the saying is right now, and I look like a total fucking idiot in front of so many people. But beauty college guys, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> all the geniuses go um, there. I, yeah, I Show off see... your chops. I'm telling you that that's what the saying is. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But it's great to see her. I didn't her. see her in Santa Clara. I haven't oh, seen that man, show, so I, show I really don't have the comparison. But hilarious. I do agree with you that all of the characters feel very real. They feel like a group of girls that are friends that have their own problems with each other. And I, I um, also like seeing the differences. And I, I really liked the um, scene towards the end where you kind of see their family life differences Absolutely. too. I thought that was very cool because, you know, they're all coming from different places um, and, you know, to see what this traumatic event does to them is going to be really exciting. And I, there's just so much suspense and mystery right now. Like, sure. I'm just very curious on who dies. Um, there is a girl shown being killed in the beginning of the episode, but we yeah. don't see her face. Yeah. So we have no idea who that is. We're um, assuming it's somebody, <laughs> but we have no idea. Yeah, we have we have an assumption, but there's we have not been told or shown yet who it is. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I, I have to say, I'm, I'm completely 50-50 right now on my interest in the modern versus mm -hmm. the past. Yes. Like, I'm completely into both. Yeah. I'm so interested in where this is going in the past characters mm -hmm. and in the, in the present characters. Mm -hmm. I think both are super interesting. If I had to lean one way or the other, I'm definitely a teeny bit more... Um, interested in this is probably because we got so little of it um, the past once they've crashed oh yeah right? I, would I say really want to know what yeah. the hell happened there how that all went down Absolutely. but right now the way they've played it out it's super eerie yes. like there's been no dialogue of any sort I don't think and well, after they crash, after no. they crash, it's all no. just kind of like these really bizarre outfits, and yeah. the atmosphere is really just off. Like, that's where all the horror is, is coming well. from. Oh yeah, for sure, you know? it's creepy as. And I will say, <clears throat> one of the parts of the episode that freaked me out that isn't in the pa it's in the past, but not after the crash is when um, the punk girl takes LSD and is looking her at her friend. Oh my god. Out. All the, and that, yeah, but that's just me. Kind of reminds me that. of Midsommar. Yeah, but it was know, more extreme. It was definitely and... more exaggerated for yeah. me. So, yeah, that was freaky. But, I, yeah, the eeriness of uh, after the crash is, it's great. Yeah, it's great atmosphere. Yeah, and it has a very, like, cult in the woods mm -hmm. uh, feeling to it, whether it's, like, the ritual mm. or... Um, tons of other shit that I've watched uh, Wicker Man or something like mm. that um, well definitely like you said it's Lord, it's Lord of the Flies but with women is what I feel like is going to be sort sure. of you know where it goes and but we also kind of get to see uh, with Lord of the Flies you don't get to see like the aftermath right right, right. Like, right. This, yeah. this is them returning home this is like yeah. Tom Hanks castaway uh, where he comes back and you kind of get to see uh, what his life is like after mm. we don't get enough of that uh, although I think that movie's fantastic, and I, I don't think we really need to get more of the, what we do from that film. In this, this is going to be a back and forth mm -hmm. throughout. Um, I really hope this show lands an audience. Yeah. Because now, who knows? I mean, maybe in three or four episodes, we'll be like, this show got stupid fast. Yeah. And you know, I, it's I only been one know. episode, but fuck, it's what a great phenomenal it's really great. like start. Yeah. I'm so into it. I'm so into it. I, I I really love Christina Ricci in this, even though she's only in it for maybe two minutes. Oh, she's but I, fantastic. I'm, I'm really, really interested in this character yes. now. Yeah, uh, me too. That's all I'll say about that. And then uh, Juliette Lewis's character and um, Melanie Luz Linsky's character uh -huh. here. She is. Oh, man. She is all sorts of fucked it's, up. It's great. I mean, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just super interesting, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I mean, would I like her in real life? I don't know, but it's <laughs> like, you know, cause it's like one of those things, right? Not if you're the daughter. Probably That's all I'll say not. about that. 
Um, but it makes for a great um, story, you know. It's we'll, good to have we'll get more into spoilers yeah. uh, in the next episode. But because this episode does not come out still for... It is out, though, so that's weird. But because, it's, you know, we'll, we'll talk about more stuff in the in the next episode. We're going to kind of keep this a little more vague, a little more spoiler-free-ish. Um, but we will, we will talk more spoilers. Next episode, for sure, full spoilers. Um, this wasn't completely spoiler-free. This is like no. more mild spoilers. Yeah. Um, this is... But, yeah, I... Watch it. Watch it, for, for sure. sure. If you have Showtime, definitely check it out on there. Somebody told me it was on YouTube. I'm not a thousand percent sure that's accurate. I think that's accurate, though. So if it isn't on, on uh, YouTube, it is definitely on Showtime. So that's where we watched it. Mm. Um, but between Dexter and this, now... We currently have how many shows on Sunday that we're watching? We on have Sunday. Oh, uh, well, we have. I mean, we have Dexter. This Chucky comes out on Tuesdays. No, I'm sorry, not Chucky. Oh, I'm thinking Fridays. So we're currently watching five shows. We have yes. two shows on Friday, two shows on Sunday, and uh, one show on Tuesday. Yeah. But one of those shows is going to be ending here on Friday, which, yeah, which is, is I know you did last summer, the f- season finale, um, but. Yeah, it this is this is probably my favorite thing that we're doing. Yeah, I agree. Talking about episodes yeah. week to week, so I definitely want to keep this going. I want to continue to keep finding series that are running. I really wish now we would have done American Horror Story I know. while it was airing. I know, um, like I did with the last two seasons, yeah. but it is what it is. We'll 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 find other things, and we will watch American Horror Story yes. at some point, and American Horror Stories, and we'll yes. talk about those. But as of right now, we're going to go finish up City of the Living Dead. Good old Folky, right? Yeah, good old Lukio Folky. She, she's killing me with the pronunciation, <laughs> but it's adorable. Don't you think so? <laughs> I think so. Anyway, guys, watch Yellow Jackets. It's great. Watch Dexter. Watch Chucky. Watch, watch fucking Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Watch Day of the watch Dead, man. It. It's a fun show. Watch it. Uh, I know you did last summer. We'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye.